for the next few sections, we're going to be all about triangles, next few chapters. And we're going to start pretty easy with just some classifications of basic kinds of triangles. The first kind of classifications has everything to do with, with the angles and the triangles. There are three classifications. We'll get to those in a moment. In order to classify them, you need to look at the largest angle. So if I look here at this triangle, I have a 38 degree, a 60 degree, and an 82 degree angle. 82 is the largest, so I look there. Now the classification comes from what that angle is. Is it an acute angle, meaning less than 90? Is it a right angle, meaning exactly 90? Or is it an obtuse angle, meaning greater than 90? Well, 82 is smaller than 90, so this is an acute triangle. Looking here, my largest angle is 111, which is greater than 90. So I have an obtuse triangle. And lastly here, this little square indicates a right angle, or 90 degrees, so it's a right triangle. Pretty simple. Acute, obtuse, right triangles. Second classification comes by its sides. And it's also fairly, there's three categories and are also fairly simple. The first category is scalene. It just means none of the sides are congruent. All the sides are different lengths. It's a scalene triangle. The next kind is where only two of the sides, two of the three sides are the same, and this is called an isosceles triangle. It means that two of the sides are congruent or equal in length. And then lastly, if all three sides are the same, we call it an equilateral triangle. Equa for equal, lateral means side. So all the sides are equal, equilateral. Those are our three classifications. Again, fairly simple. Scalene, none of the sides are equal, isosceles, Two of the sides are equal, equilateral, all three are equal. Here's a simple problem that involves one of the ideas of these triangles. In this problem, they tell us that there's an equilateral triangle, RST. Equilateral meaning all the sides are equal. The next thing they say is all the sides are equal to something with x in it. x plus 9, 2x, 3x minus 9. And the question is, what does x have to be for this to be actual, uh, an actual equilateral triangle? And it's fairly simple. All the sides are equal, so everything has to equal each other. x plus 9 needs to equal 3x minus 9. 2x needs to equal 3x minus 9. 2x must equal x plus 9. It's all equal. You don't need to use all of them, actually. You only need 2. So let's pick the simplest ones. x plus 9 and 2x. So x plus 9 equals 2x. If I subtract the x, I just get x equals 9. And that's my answer. If I want to double check, I can place 9 back in here. 9 plus 9 is 18. OK. 2 times 9. Well, that's 18. That's good. Now I have two sides that are equal. If I place 9 in here, 3 times 9 is 27. Minus 9 is 18. So there we have it. Three sides, all the lengths are 18. Therefore, it makes it an equilateral triangle. The last kind of problem they may give you is to give you a triangle based on three coordinate points. And then ask you whether that triangle is scalene, isosceles, or a right triangle. All they're really asking you to do is find the distance between every set of points, therefore finding the length of each side. And then if two of them are the same, it's isosceles. If three of them are the same, then it's equilateral. And if none of them are the same, it's scalene. Well, this requires me to find the distance between two points. So let me remind you how to do that. Uh, the simplest and quickest method to find the distance. So let's find the distance between C and D, the length of this side right here. Remember, it's the square root is what I start with. Then I find out how far it is from the x coordinates between these two x. This is 2, that is 3. The distance between them is 1. So I put 1 and I square it. Then I do the same thing for the y. The distance between 2 and 9 is 7. So the distance there is 7. And I square it both times. And then I add those two numbers. So 1 squared is 1. 7 squared is 49. 1 plus 49 is 50, the square root of 50. 
Now, you can use your calculator to find that as, out as a decimal, but for this problem, to identify whether it's scalene, isosceles, or, right, or uh, equilateral triangle, all I need to know is the distance as a square root. I don't need to punch it in as a decimal. There's no need for that. So we'll keep it at the square root of 50. Okay, let's move on to this next one here. Let's do this again, starting with the square root. I find the distance between the axis. The distance between 2 and negative 5. The distance between 2 and 5 would be 3, because they're both on the positive side, but this is not the same. I have to go from 2 to 0 is 2, and from 0 to negative 5 is another 5. So the distance between 2 and negative 5 is 7. That distance is 7. So I write 7, and I square it. The y-coordinate is 2 and 3, so the distance between 2 and 3 is 1. Write 1, and I square it. I add those two, and guess what? That becomes the same thing. 49 plus 1, square root of 50. So, right now, as it is, I have at least an isosceles triangle. I need to discover if it's equilateral. Well, I'll leave that up to you. Find the distance between this last side. Determine whether this triangle is isosceles or equilateral. Good luck.